Thank you very much. 61 million Americans, or one in four people in the United States, are living with a disability. Individuals with disabilities have worse health, engage in poorer health behaviors, and have more negative outcomes than those without disabilities. These include higher rates of depression, more suicide attempts, more hospitalizations, and higher levels of cognitive problems and health illiteracy. Individuals with disabilities are among those who most need access to informed and appropriate medical care. And yet, what we find is this gr group is more likely to have unmet health care needs, to experience cost barriers in receiving treatment, to have times when they're unable to access care, and to be likely to report encounters characterized by disrespect and not being listened to. And they are also less likely to receive preventative care services, have access to routine dental care, or to receive counseling associated with alcohol or substance abuse, smoking sensation, or mental health issues. Here at Michigan Medicine, we interact with a lot of patients. In 2018, we provided care during about 2.5 million outpatient clinic visits, over 100,000 emergency department visits, and during over 300,000 patient days. This means that every year, Michigan Medicine interacts with individuals with disabilities a lot. At minimum, this includes about a half a million outpatient clinic visits, over 20,000 emergency department visits, and over 62,000 patient days. These outcomes, though, are up on us. We can do something about it to change them. The outcomes of poor health and poor access to quality care tell us what we need to do. We have the ability to consider how to change the environment that we have created, that we provide, as well as our knowledge and attitudes, our buildings and our systems to better meet the needs of individuals with disabilities so that their health and functioning can improve. We can consciously create environments. We can ensure accessible clinic and office space and equipment, which individuals with disabilities can actually use. We can ensure there are space and services for those with cognitive and sensory impairments. We can enhance awareness that disparities in healthcare and healthcare outcomes exist and identify our own biases, limitations, and priorities. We can optimize the attitudes of all stakeholders, promoting positive attitudes about disability and disconnecting the idea that disability necessarily means poor health and poor quality of life. And we can promote expectations of participation, inclusion, and engagement. We can educate providers. We can provide courses on disability as part of our curriculum. We can provide continuing education to our professionals. And we can create best practice alerts that provide just-in-time information about the challenges for that particular individual with disability in our healthcare medical records. We can da gather data using measures that are appropriate for and validated on or with individuals with disabilities. We can ask, do you have a disability for your, which you need an accommodation? Currently, my chart does not have a standardized field to list if a disability or accommodation is needed, which then leads to many trickle-down effects. We can regularly screen for functional deficits being it sensory, cognition, or, or mobility. And then we can adapt and ta tailor care to address what we find. This is not just sending a referral, but actually changing the care we provide so it is understood by and relevant to our patients. We can review and update our policies so that they meet not only minimum regulations from the Americans with Disability Act and other regulations, but actually are about the best practices for the health of our patients. We can also advocate for state and federal policies that impact our patients' health and quality of life. 
Finally, we can translate all of the wonderful, innovative, cutting-edge research that we do here at Michigan back into our clinical services so that our patients benefit from the technology, from the research, from all that we have worked to find out in partnership with them. In summary, individuals with disabilities comprise a large percentage of who we serve here at Michigan and Michigan Medicine. Poor health and healthcare outcomes are not inevit inevitable for this group, but influenced by what we as healthcare providers do or do not do. We need to step up to the plate and make changes based both on our research evidence and federal regulations in order to optimize outcomes. Healthcare disparities is about us, healthcare systems and healthcare providers. Addressing them and eliminating them are our responsibility. Thank you.